Hey everyone. Okay, so what we're going to do today is build something for my front porch renovations, which um, my husband and I have been doing this past um, holiday weekend. Um, I wanted to make a few things for the front porch and I've had these numbers for the house um, for a couple of years now and literally just pulled them out of storage and dusted them off and I wanted to make a placard for some on the for the wall above the mailbox since our mailbox is on the house um, but then I decided that that mailbox was looking pretty ugly so I was like well how about let's see if I can make something that will incorporate the house numbers and the mailbox into a pretty wall thingy um, so we're going to do that today um, I have some leftover cedar fencing as you can tell apparently I bought a lot of cedar fence and um, don't know what to do with it so let's just build stuff out of it and then I have this um, one by two um, piece that I have sitting around and it's pretty straight so I thought I can use that as maybe a frame around the, the entire thing so um, yeah so let's get started I got my numbers I got my cedar planking and I have an idea in my head so let's get started Right here I'm using my table saw to cut out the cedar pickets for the sign. The number house numbers I have are about four inches tall and about two to three inches wide. I'm also cutting out the mailbox that I'm going to be attaching to the sign. Now it's a standard US post office mailbox about 15 inches wide, three and a half inches deep and about um, five inches tall. Instead of attaching the house numbers to the five and a half inch boards, I decided to cut them in half to give it a different type of look. Thankfully I had all the wood cut out before the rain started. got caught in the rain so I had to change my shirt and now what I'm doing is I'm doing a quick dry fit to make sure that everything has been cut to size and looks the way I imagine it to look. The only thing I did wrong was the 1x2s that I cut. I didn't cut them properly so I did cut those off camera. I'm doing a chomper edge on the frame, but I'm doing that now because once everything's attached and the box is attached, I won't be able to route around the frame later. Right here I am routing the mailbox lid just to give it a nicer look. Okay, so right here I'm just doing another dry fit just to make sure everything fits and now that the 1x2 frame is cut to size, I'm also adding a little slot for the outgoing mail. Okay, now it's time to glue up the actual mailbox and let that sit aside for the glue to set and then I'll be taking my brad nailer and attaching everything to make it secure and strong.
Now it's time for some paint. I had to do a little bit of sanding for the frame since I had to cut it separately and I didn't sand it beforehand, but now I'm sanding a little bit just to make sure all the sharp edges are off and then painting the frame a black. You can actually paint it whatever color you want. I'm going with black because that matches the shutters of our house. All right, now it's time for assembly. So I cut out these little strips of wood to give it a little bit more structure. Also to raise the, the sign in the frame a little bit um, since I didn't cut the frame down because I didn't want such a chunky frame, but at the same time, I also didn't want to cut the frame. So I just add these strips to raise it up a little bit so it's not so deep inside the frame, if that makes sense. Um, and then once everything's glued, I tacked the strips to the back of the wood and then attached that to the box, as you can see. And that way everything is, is tacked together and strong and secured. And once the frame has been glued into place and tacked in, this baby is not moving. This thing is not going to fall apart. I think it turned out really well and um, I was actually surprised how easy it was to assemble this. Okay, once you have sealed your box, it's time to add the hinges. Now, when I added the hinges to the lid, I realized that I couldn't open the lid wide enough for mail to be put inside the box. So I had to disassemble the lid from the box and cut it down to give it a little bit more of a tapered edge so the box would open up fully. So you'll see that what I mean at the end of the video. All right, now it's time to add your numbers to your sign. My numbers, of course, are four total. Um, some addresses, of course, are all gonna be different. So depending on how many numbers you have in your address will be the size of, will determine the size of your box. So of course mine are four and my box is about um, 15 inches wide and including the frame. So I'm probably looking at 17 inches wide total, which is perfect for the spot where I'm gonna put it in. Now, this part of this process is very important because if your numbers are cattywampus, you can definitely tell when you're standing far away back. So make sure you have everything um, measured and properly spaced before you Go ahead and permanently attach the numbers to the sign. All right, everyone, here it is. I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, just let me go over a few things that I did. I did add the shelf down here for outgoing mail. And I did add a little bit of, I add these rubber stoppers to the lid um, so it doesn't bang shut. I also had to taper the back of the lid just a little bit more so this would open up um, wider than I originally had it. So um, I think it turned out pretty cool. 
I left the cedar planking the original color. I just polyurethaned it and then I painted, of course, the, the border black um, to match the shutters of the house. I think it turned out pretty cool. I added our street name and mounted it on the wall and it looks perfect. So I'm very happy with the way the scrap wood project turned out. If you'd like to do this, try it out yourself and just simply just fill around with your wood and see what you can do and you can come up with something pretty awesome like I did. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions, and I hope everyone has a great day.